Good morning, everybody. It's September 22nd. Happy Tuesday morning to you. Um, I am doing good. I will say that I am, um, let's see, uh, going to the dentist today. So the dentist isn't my favorite place to be. I don't know if you really like the dentist, but uh, it's time because I was supposed to go in April and now it's September. So it's been probably almost a year and do my teeth look dirty? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I think my teeth need to be cleaned. So that's what's happening today. Thank you for everyone jumping on. Wow, everyone just boom, 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 boom. Usually it takes a little while. Okay, Jane's here, and Valerie, and Carla, and Isabel, and Vicki, and Tina, and Marilyn, and Stacy, and Dottie, and I think that may be it, unless I missed a few others. Rachel. Anyway, thank you guys so much. Arlene, thank you guys for jumping on. So fun. Um, I had an amazing weekend with my mom and my stepdad this weekend. They came from Texas. And we just had such a great time. Um, yes, I, you know, with this whole COVID thing, you kind of don't, you're alone for so long. You don't realize how much you miss people. And then when you're with them, it's just so amazing. So we just had such a good time and I'm just so grateful for the time that, uh, that we had this weekend. So that's good. Um, going to the dentist today. Um, yeah. So, Hey, that's what I'm up to. I wonder what you guys are up to. Um, let me know cause I love hearing what you're doing. If any of you guys are going to the dentist today, then we are <laughs> in it together. <laughs> um, I don't know about you, but my, <clears throat> I talk a lot, but I have a very small mouth when it comes to how it opens. And so the dentist is just, man, my jaw just kills after the dentist. So wish me luck today. Uh, hopefully everything is okay inside my mouth and this is it. Um, but yeah, that's me. Um, we, <clears throat> we are talking about chapter three today and you know it's so interesting because um, I am very much a peacemaker I don't really like conflict um, if there is conflict I'm usually the type that is just going to let's resolve this because I don't want those weird feelings like I just don't want there to be anyone who's mad at me anywhere in the whole world, kind of, you know what I mean? And so I just don't have a lot of people that I'm at odds with. And yesterday, <clears throat> kind of um, had just an experience happen and realized that sometimes there's people that don't like me. <laughs> just kidding. Um, yeah, it's just really hard for me. And so, yeah, just a really weird experience with um, some service industry here and um, called to make an appointment and after we had a little not so good experience last time and and then um, just so crazy to like have somebody say we don't want to do business with you or any of your family and I was like and I just cried <laughs> and I just felt like why wouldn't anyone like not anyway so this is all very fresh for me and it's very interesting because today we're talking about nasty Nellies <laughs> you know I feel like God always gives me like this perfect little thing to talk to you guys about because I'm always like okay what are we gonna talk about nasty Nellies about I don't know I don't have any nasty Nellies in my life <laughs> Well, I got a nasty Nelly yesterday and it just hurt my feelings and I just thought you know what do you do when there are people in this world who either are not nice to you or maybe they just don't want to have anything to do with you and you don't really know why and you don't understand and you're willing to like 
put it all aside and forgive and start over and they're like no thanks yeah it's hard it's super hard so I don't know if you have any nasty Nellies in your life um, maybe it's a family member a sister-in-law uh, you know a brother a mother-in-law sometimes mother-in-laws <laughs> they're tough I have a wonderful mother-in-law so I'm not saying that I have a tough mother-in-law but a lot of people do and it's just a really hard thing you know maybe it's an employer maybe it's somebody at work that just doesn't like you or maybe there's somebody that you don't like <laughs> maybe you're the nasty Nelly <laughs> uh, well if you're the nasty Nelly then <laughs> then uh, watch out no I'm just kidding um, Anyway, uh, just think about the nasty Nellas in your life and what, how do you respond to them? What do you do? What do you do to have like peace in your life so that you're not like so upset about it? Like I was just crying yesterday and I couldn't stop crying and I just thought this is so silly. Like I never need to talk to this person again. I'm never going to see them, you know, um, but I was just hurt. So what do you do? I don't know. Here we go. This is chapter three of a Prairie Devotional, Nasty Nellies. And it's from season one, episode two, Country Girls, almost everyone's favorite episode. Um, and the quote is from Nellie Olson herself. And she says, country girls. And that's it. Um, all right. Nasty Nellies always seem to appear when we are especially insecure and our courage is less than lion-like. Nellie Olson's words weren't untrue on the Ingalls' first day of school, but the way she said them snatched away Laura's courage. First days of school are uncomfortable enough without a nasty Nellie running around, stripping people of much needed confidence. My first day of high school mirrored Laura's. We both felt uncertain of ourselves. As I walked to school, I was terrified. My twin sister and a new girl who had just moved to town were beside me. A greenware to meet for lunch, we rushed to class as the first bell rang. Four hours later, we searched for a place to eat, far from the cafeteria and my old group of friends. A spiritual change that summer left me unsure of how to act around them. Instead of being brave and sharing my new faith, I was hiding out. We settled on a grassy patch and ate our lunches. The sun shone bright and I finally began to relax. As I balled up my empty lunch sack, a girl came running over. She had blonde hair and a loud and rude demeanor, so like Nellie. She looked at us in disgust and sneered, freshman. I'll never forget the look on her face. It wasn't what she said, but the way she said it made our hearts sink. She might as well have been wearing a big bow on the top of her head, one that matched her outfit, just like Nellie. It's been almost 25 years since then, and I'm finally learning to be bold. I'm not as concerned about what others think. My lifetime of stories about God are pouring out of me. When a nasty Nellie tries to discourage you, remember Laura. Don't stick out your tongue the way Laura did, but know in your heart that your experiences are more powerful than mean words. You may not think bravery is in your bones, but God will give you the strength to be courageous when you trust him. And the verse is from Joshua 1, 9, and it says, This is my command, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And there's a couple questions. Have you ever encountered a nasty Nellie? How do hurtful people drain your courage? What can you do to ignite courage in yourself and in someone else? So, I had my version of a nasty Nelly yesterday, and I wonder if you have a nasty Nelly story. When I was in high school, I had a really good, really big group of friends. We've been friends since uh, elementary school, all through junior high, and um, you know it's crazy because I, I wasn't the, I wasn't the greatest friend right before high school. Um, I kind of decided to go another way because I 
found faith in Jesus and um, I didn't even really tell them. I didn't even um, like give them a chance to accept me, you know? And it was just because I was scared. And um, so I wasn't the greatest friend. I just kind of like ignored the situation and hung out with somebody else, you know? But, um, but then along comes this nasty Nelly when I'm feeling so insecure, you know? And I think a lot of times that's what happens when you're feeling so low and then maybe something that doesn't even matter um, just hits you wrong, you know? And you're like, I already feel so insecure and now there's this person saying that I'm not okay, you know? Or um, just pushing you aside, you know? So I wonder what your Nasty Nelly story is because we all have a Nasty Nelly story. I'm sure we do. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's me today. Recovering from a nasty Nelly and going to the dentist. <laughs> it's going to be a good day. <laughs> anyway, um, I am just so thrilled that all of you came to watch today. Thank you. Um, if you do not have a copy of a Prairie Devotional, go get a copy. And you know what? Christmas is coming. So I have been making dolls. Oh, you want to see my big pile of dolls? Let me show you my in in uh, progress dolls. Okay, we got a plate of, a cardboard plate of uh, Laura's done. These are all done, ready to be packed up. And then poor Mary, she's bald right now. <laughs> Here's, here's a pile of Mary dolls, but Mary doesn't have any hair yet. <laughs> so that's what I've been working on. Um, the Nellies will be next, but they are... But I've been working on the wigs. So here's my little pile of Nelly wigs. And this is the thing that takes the longest is making these little wigs. So Nelly will be next. As soon as I get enough wigs to make a whole cardboard sheet of them. So that's where we're at, getting ready for Christmas orders. And yeah, so I hope you're doing good. I hope that you can be brave and um, be your truest self. When you find yourself in a new situation, like a new school, um, maybe it's a new job or a new neighborhood, Maybe you just got married and you're just entering a new family <laughs> with like in-laws, you know, but just to be bold enough to be your truest, authentic self. Um, I, if I could have done that, if I could have been brave enough to do that when I was in high school, it could have been a really different story. And the good news is, is that every day we have the choice to be our truest, most authentic selves if we are brave enough to let people see what's really inside of us. So you guys have a really great day. And if you have a Nasty Nelly story, I would love to hear it. So um, you know where to get a hold of me. Um, you can... You can send me an email through my website. You can send me a message um, on Facebook or Instagram. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear your Nasty Nelly story because sometimes when you tell the Nasty Nelly story, it doesn't actually, um, it kind of takes that power away. Like I feel better about my Nasty Nelly story from yesterday just from talking to you guys about it. So share your Nasty Nelly story, get all that stuff out in the open so that we can have peace again and and be okay <laughs> so anyway you have a great day and um i'll see you next week all right love you guys bye